Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about something that's really been bothering me, um, and that is my lack of feelings for The Hobbit. Uh, it's really weird to me because, you know, I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan or whatever, and um, I should be very excited to be seeing The Hobbit because The Hobbit is actually my favorite book. But I'm not excited at all. I think the thing that I'm most excited about right now is being able to go see the, the midnight premiere, which I've never done a midnight premiere before, with my friend who we're kind of like long distance friends so we don't get to see each other very often. And I'm more excited to see her than I am to see The Hobbit. And she would probably kill me if she heard that because she's like a diehard fan. And I consider myself to be a very huge fan. Um, I mean, I read the book probably a hundred times and I'm not like even exaggerating. I've painted pictures based on The Hobbit. I grew up playing that The Hobbit video game. I don't know if any of you remember that. Uh, but I, I'm just really, really upset with myself for not being excited. Like, I feel like I should be like bouncing off the walls with excitement. And I'm not excited at all. And I think this is because, you know, I go into Barnes and Noble and I wish that I was seeing more of the Rings merchandise and not Hobbit merchandise. Because I want to spend more time with those characters. And also because with every new promotional picture I see, I lose the mental pictures that I have from reading The Hobbit. Because you all know this, or if you don't, you know now. I didn't read The Lord of the Rings before I read, or I didn't, yeah, I didn't read them before I saw them. And that's because, you know, when I was younger, it was just kind of like a harder read for me. And I didn't see The Lord of the Rings movies until I was 13 because I actually wasn't even allowed. Um, so I mean, I completely like missed the boat, but the, they got me through a really hard time in my life, and The Hobbit was something that I grew up reading, so it was something that's always, it's been like a childhood, it's been like a friend to me for a very long time, and the fact that I'm not excited to see it in the movie is very, actually it just kind of makes sense to me more than anything. It started with the people who shipped uh, Bilbo and Smaug on Tumblr. That just really bothered me, like it took something that was like, very special to me, and, like, ruined it. <laughs> well, I mean, it didn't ruin it, obviously, because I'm still a huge fan of The Hobbit, and I still love it, but... And if you ship that, like, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> it's like finding out... I don't know, I can't compare what, like, getting that thought into my mind is like. It's almost like finding out Santa Claus is real, or, like, finding out... I don't know. I can't come up with anything to compare. It's like a loss of innocence thing, and I can't get my innocence back, and it's because of Tumblr. <laughs> and, um, and I just don't understand that, and it really upsets me <laughs> when I see it, and that people actually like that. Um, but... I'm just really concerned. I mean, it's not that I don't trust Peter Jackson, like everyone's like, oh, if you don't like The Hobbit, you don't trust Peter Jackson, and it's like, no, it's really not that. I'm actually kind of excited to know that see more Middle Earth, to hear more of Howard Shore's music, to see, just have my breath taken away, because that's what the Lord of the Rings movies do for me, and I can only assume because it's in the same place it's going to do the same thing for me. But you never, <laughs> you never know. I, um... I'm just, the fact that it's become three films now is something that concerns me. Um, the fact that I haven't seen any promotional pictures except for, I think, one painting I saw of a bear. So I haven't seen any promotional pictures of Bjorn. That concerns me. I don't know if that's something I can look forward to, and I hope it's something I can look forward to because he's one of my favorites. Um, just the fact that it's three movies really turned me off to it, to be perfectly honest, because it just seems like they're trying to make it into an epic when The Lord of the Rings could stand to be six movies. That's how much, if they're gonna be like doing the same thing to both things. The Lord of the Rings is for adults. I mean, children read it and people call it a fantasy, but it is like a fantasy epic. And it is meant to be read that way and it was meant to be viewed that way. So we have like fantasy epic, and then you have The Hobbit, and that's a children's story. And they're trying to make an epic out of a children's story. And that's what I like about The Hobbit. I mean, <laughs> some of the trailers I've seen, I can already see that they have like a different wit and a different humor than they do in the Lord of the Rings films. I mean, of course, you know, they have like Mary and Pippin and they have, 
you know, Sam bumbling around sometimes, or like the Legolas and Gimli thing, to add comic relief to something that would be too serious. But with The Hobbit, um, it's never too serious anyway. It's, I mean, it's like full of adventure, but it's like, when I, when I read the first Harry Potter book, I, I think a lot of you know that I'm starting to read Harry Potter now, the first Harry Potter book, tone, the tone of that book, it reminded me of The Hobbit, and that's what really kind of drew me into Harry Potter. I mean, it got darker as I read along, but um, that's kind of like the same idea. The Hobbit is like kids, so Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, that's like a kid's book. And then as you progress to The Lord of the Rings, or you progress to like, I'm reading um, Half-Blood Prince now, it's gotten very dark, and The Lord of the Rings deals with some very dark things that The Hobbit just doesn't have. Um, and clearly the Hobbit film, I don't know if they're trying to add stuff like that to it, but it seems to me that they're, I mean, you know, they're taking like everything that they possibly can to make this as much of an epic as they can, and much of a moneymaker as they can. And I'm not, you know, if it was me, I don't know what I would do. I, I would like to say that I would stick to everything, make it as true to the books, and be as true to the fans as I possibly can, but you know, at the end of the day, you still have to make money. And obviously The Hobbit's going to make money. I don't doubt that it's going to make money, especially when it has like a name like Lord of the Rings attached to it, because it's going to make money. But then again, there is the idea of making money, and there's an idea of completely changing what something is meant to be and not staying true to it at all. And you know, I can't make any judgments now. I'm really hoping that I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. <clears throat> I'm going to try to not go in with prejudice because, you know, I mean, I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to enjoy it no matter what, because, you know, it's my favorite book and any time I can spend in the Shire is a good time for me, even if it's not a very long time in the Shire, obviously, you know, you don't spend time in one place, but being able to see it again, like, it's like home to me. <laughs> so I'm sure going to the movie theater is going to be like going home. <laughs> But, um, I'm just like, I don't want, I don't want home to be changed or, sorry, um, just changed to a way where you can't recognize it anymore. It's like Bilbo coming home and finding out that the Sackville bag exists tried to sell all this stuff and were taking his silver spoons. I don't want Peter Jackson to take my silver spoons. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I just, I, the bottom of the line is I'm really, con like I'm not concerned about The Hobbit, I'm concerned that I'm not excited for The Hobbit. So, um, talk to me if you are concerned, if you're excited, if you're not excited. Let me know. I feel like I'm a very, very, like, lonely minority of people who are not- I feel like I'm one person who's not excited out of, like, everyone's like, YES! I'm just like, no! And it's kind of sad. I feel really alone. So just let me know what you think in the comments and, um, or send me a message on Tumblr.